Hi, everybody. Oh. I get to hang out. Didn't I have a missed call? Dude. Oh, God. Um, one second, guys. Anyway, everything just started going off at once. Sorry about that. Anyway, so we're starting today by reading Valhalla patch notes. That stuff comes out tomorrow, which I need to prep. Go away. I... Hi. Hi. Good kid. Oh, I didn't turn the piercing blinding white light off back there. Hold on. As you now want attention, don't you? He's not letting me type. I'm trying to plan something out for tomorrow. Okay. Just what you want. I want to go turn off the piercing blinding light in my back. Since I really don't need it with the thing there. So. Um. And now he laid on my leg. Come on. Let's go that way for a minute. Thank you. That's a good boy. Alright. Um. Let me go turn the piercing winding light off. First. And then. Then we'll explain what's coming up here over the next week to two weeks to possibly mm, three, four. Okay, and I am getting dinged up like crazy right now. Oh, shit. Can this just... So good at one point. I have to get an actual couch cover. So, for the next I typewriter, am I stupid? Okay, that needs to go off. So, next week I wanna I gotta pl I wanna play the Overwatch event. I want to get into the new season of Rainbow with Josh, so I got to wake up early. So expect a few earlier streams of Overwatch and Rainbow. Uh, Valhalla. I got to get into Valhalla. The complete edition of Horizon Zero Dawn is on PS now. 
So, we might be playing through the DLC. Um, before our new game plus run. Uh, then... Uh, so I got the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, which we're definitely going to be doing here probably in the next two weeks or so. Finishing Dead Island. Rainbow. Destiny. Overwatch. Isaac. Um, Pokemon we're going to try again, but if it gets overheated like that, I'm not, I'm not risking a switch. No way. I wouldn't. I don't need this. With that being said, though, that's about what you can expect over the next coming weeks. We have a game to read. We have patch notes to read. So our patch is going to be 5.7 gigs right here. Uh, estimates, uh, 7 a.m. ET. Oh my god. That's, okay, cool. That's really. Alright, content. Added in-game support for the settlement expansion in Yule Festival. The old festival is a time-limited event with several festivities to enjoy and rewards to obtain. To bring this festival to life, you'll see the arrival of the Rev Revelers just east of the current settlement. Provide more details about the settlement expansion and Yule Festival in our upcoming Yule Season Preview article. Okay. Hi. Reading passions. Uh, miscellaneous legendary animal trophies will now correctly appear in the longhouse. Cool. I didn't know that was an issue. I knew that was an issue, but I didn't have that issue because I can't talk to my NPCs. Balancing. Tweak the NPC power level behavior. NPC's power will now be at a maximum difference of 51 below the player. NPCs that are 51 below the player will be highlighted in green. World bosses will match the player's power level when the power exceeds the world's boss's base level. It also applied to alpha animals and zealots. Oh! Okay! This change applies to all difficulty. Added little chest to the Grand Magister's hideout. Note this hideout is only available from a very specific moment in the game. Spoilers. Okay, address an issue where the crit spark rune would not work when slot it into both. Uh, address an issue where wrong weapon sets were displayed for specific items. The Royal Guard, Viper Bow, Death Speaker, the Mark of Soul, Doppel Handler, and Hun Tooth. Game improvements, performance and stability, proof stability and performance. Uh, these are PC issues, which is addressed some freezes when performing specific actions for the first time. Addressed an issue that could cause freezes during splash screen. Graphics, audio, and animation. Addressed, so I'm not going to keep saying addressed. So if I, I'm just going to say all of these are addressed minus, and I'll, actually, tattooed Mimir's head. Okay, this thing. Um, everything else is an addressed issue. Various graphic issues, various character and PC animation issues, various clipping issues. Issue where fish may lay on its side during the fishing animation. Issue where some NPCs would cut the air instead of wheat. Practice doesn't always make perfect. An issue where NPCs that are being assassinated while being unconscious would sometimes get up during the animation. I think I had that issue once or twice. Uh, an issue with Jagged Seafoam. Quest, world events, and side activities. Uh, all of these are addressed, I believe. Yes. Yes, these are all addressed issues, so we're, I'm not going to keep saying addressed. Um, issue in a sword shower in Anacaster where Elf Guard didn't move to the assault location. In issues where players cannot complete honors hubris. This victim will spawn Lufinia again, reset her position, and restart the quest. Uh, an issue where, where that caused Tarbin to follow Eivor everywhere when the Baker's Point wasn't completed. Your watch has ended, Tarbin. Issue where fast travel wouldn't be available under certain conditions when returning to England after completing the Horde of Fialk arc. I don't know which one it is. 
An issue where allies would not help Eivor opening doors at the Isle of Elime a Monastery. Teamwork makes the dream work. Issue with the settlement anomalies, light beams that prevented players from completing the anomaly. Haven't seen that one yet. An issue in well-traveled, where the objective would not update under certain cer certain circumstances. An issue where Fenyar would get could get stuck underground. Ah. An issue where Eivor would sometimes be levitating during assault outros. No more Wingardium Leviosa for this one. Issue and defense measures where Jotuns would be able to pass through the shield after the bring the invaders into the shield objective was completed. You shall not pass. Issue and bring rebellion where the cutscene couldn't trigger when the door was opened by an NPC AI accident. Issue and the false eldermancy that prevented players from completing it under certain certain conditions. This Hunwald ain't loyal. Issue and kingdoms end where Guthrum doesn't leave the Hampton blockade area after releasing the prisoners or could randomly become inactive. Uh, a sword shower and anacaster that prevented players from completing the quest. The goddess of birth that prevented players from completing the event. Glory regained where players could become stuck on the platform with the horn. View above all where the quest objective would sometimes not update after closing the gates. Uh, a rivalry for the ages where players couldn't complete the quest under certain circumstances. Again, these are all issues addressed. Addressed in issues, I mean. Uh, the boar with the golden noose where players couldn't complete a world event due to Lady Trotters not spawning. Uh, in defensive measures where players would die when returning to Asgard. In cruelty, cruel destiny that prevented players from proceeding to the second phase of the boss fight. Quest name checks out. Oh, wow, well, yeah, it really does. Madness of the stones that prevented players from proceeding with the quest. Bleeding the leash that prevented players from completing the quest. Uh, Pet where Petra would run into the opposite direction of the elk, see this Petra, where players could sometimes not get back into the room with the Norns, Giants of F Fimble Winter, where Eivor could get stuck inside the quest area, smashing the compass that prevented players from completing the quest, War Wary, where players couldn't re-enter the church under cer certain circumstances, uh, War of the Collectors, where the world event couldn't be completed under circum certain circumstances, and issues in the big, uh, God damn it. A bit, the big fish request objections couldn't update further. Prevented players from entering Sky Skirmir's Mitten in the Lost Cauldron. Firing the arrow where the quest objective would sometimes not update. Uh, an issue where players couldn't progress the game anymore upon reaching New England after title update 1.0.4. Oh, lovely. Uh, with Stjernborn encounter. Addressed. Various object or this is world address various object or texture placement issues address various instances where the player could not become where the player could become stuck on objects. I had that issue a few times. Thank you. Gameplay, combat, and AI address various NPC behavior animation issues. Address an issue that allow players to shoot targets through walls without using piercing shot. Issue where spears not being effective to destroy windows. Uh, where the fishing head kid was roaming Ravensthorpe instead of being at their house. You're officially grounded. Uh, okay. Horses will now run away when being hurt with a torch. They didn't before? Uh, issue where Jotuns can sometimes warp into walls when shape-shifting. Get good. Where monks would sometimes stand still and not perform their tasks. When hitting a horse with a Saxon boat will cause it to disappear when mounting it. Insert what gif here. Sprint will now be interrupted by actions other than dodging, uh, where Eivor could, would become invisible to AI detection when fast traveling during a dice game. NPCs may randomly start pirouetting on a Saxon boat, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Ability, perks, and skills. Uh, addressed an issue where players couldn't perform heavy attacks with Frost Ruin or Sinner Skull, uh, where Frost Ruin's perk wouldn't activate even when conditions are met. Oh, yeah, I, rem I, I remember seeing this. Addressed instances where players were able to open barred doors with the Dive of the Valkyries ability. I knew that was a bug. That's why I never did it. Um, at least knowingly. Um, I had it equipped at one point, and I haven't used it after I unequipped it. So I might have done it about one, once by accident. I don't know. I don't think I do. I do know this was a bug, and I purposely avoided doing it. Not to bug through or something like that. Uh, address an issue where the level 2 incendiary powder trap couldn't be detonated a second time when the first trap was set off by an NPC. Uh, where man's best friend wouldn't deal any damage to zealots in some instances. Good boy. 
uh, increased mastery points cap. Largely increased. Okay. I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. And I'm worried. Because I know that was in there uh, to be addressed in a future update. Um, user interface and HUD. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, user interface and HUD address various UI HUD issues. Uh, various localization issues. Items that are part of a bundle in the Animus store will now show the corresponding items in the details page. An issue where players could sometimes lose weapons when performing a dual weapon swap. Uh, red is informer icon to make it appear smaller. Adrenaline, change the Adrenaline Fiend icon to make it more distinguishable from Adrenaline upgrades. Okay. I do remember, I, I think that was like, oh, another one, but this is bigger. Why? And I remember, I think I remember thinking that or it's saying it. Torches, oil jars can now be dropped, put on the ground with the Y triangle. Addressed an issue that allowed players to get the beggar reward several times. An issue where stats wouldn't update after leaving offline mode. Issue where players couldn't interact with the radar anymore. Added off the quick time event input type in the menu. Turning this option off will allow the game to bypass mashing actions during some boss encounters. I'm keeping that on. Uh, issue where alpha animals would... Where, uh, where with alpha animals, where players wouldn't be awarded the skill point when animals were not killed by the player. An issue where opals would not disappear from the map under certain conditions after collection. Issue where experienced travelers would unlock locations for the wrong territory. Uh, that was a thing. I wonder if I had that happen. Issue where players wouldn't be able to create or load manual save anymore. Oh, I'm glad I don't. I'm glad that's addressed. I don't have another issue where Ly Lila's laptop couldn't be navigated with focus navigation. Uh, name cloud saves appropriately. Cloud saves when I'll be named auto save, manual save, episode save cloud. Okay. Just an issue where saves could be displayed as corrupt when saving when the internet connection is lost. Just an issue on where the Pathfinder understanding resets custom after rebooting the game. Just an issue on where cloud saves could disappear under certain conditions. Oh boy. Photo mode. Address an issue where filters reset to no filter when adjusting other values in photo mode. Issue where the photo mode camera could get stuck in objects. Photo mode frames will not function correctly. System, PC. Addressed an issue with the benchmark tool. It caused the tool not to collect data for a moment after unpausing the session. Just an issue where VRAM indicators do not correspond with actual VRAM consumption. Uh, general, reduced intensity and duration of the parry rumble. Controllers go brrrr. PS5, address an issue on PlayStation 5 where the season pass could not be displayed as owned after purchase. I'm going to look at this card because I knew known issues addressed in a future update. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Where is it? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Cannot interact with settlement NPCs. I swear to God, that's issues addressed in a future update. That better be this update. I didn't see it in patch notes. Who knows? I read all my patch notes, so we're going to go back to full screen. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna flip nope, I want this. Uh, remove. There we go. Alrighty, uh, I'm hoping the settlements are fixed. Uh, we'll know tomorrow. I'll probably go live early. Uh, I'll probably update the game and I'll go in and I'll look and see if it's been changed. If not, then that's my only issue. It's like I'm I'm getting I'm getting pissed. I can't talk to my settlement NPC. Like that's the only thing that I'm fucking getting super pissed about. I get it. People have had more issues. The f like, my friend has an issue where he can't even come proceed with the quest. Cool, that's fine. My issue is, there's probably a fuck ton of shit I'm missing out on for my 100% run, and I can't do anything until this fucking issue is addressed. Which means I'll probably have to wait till the fucking end of next month again. Like, the NPC issue should have been addressed, like, now. If It, uh, it might be, it might be. I'm, I'm not saying it isn't. 
No, no. All right. 